From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News Update. Hi everyone and thank you for joining us. I'm Kara Sundlin with a few of today's top stories. State police say one person is dead after a car fire in West Hartford. This happened in a parking lot on Kane Street. Officers got a call about the car being on fire and then called in the fire department. After the flames were put out, they realized someone was in the driver's seat. The person inside has not yet been identified. An incident is under investigation. At least one person has died after a fire on the sixth floor of an apartment building on Spring Street in New Britain. Several people People were rescued from this burning building. Two were taken to the hospital. It happened just before 2 a.m. this morning as you're looking at the viewer video that was sent in. This became a three alarm fire quickly and the New Britain Fire Department called in help from neighboring cities. Investigators are still looking into what caused it. Confirmation hearings for State Commissioner of Education Miguel Cardona are underway in the U.S. Senate. Cardona was nominated by President Joe Biden to become the next U.S. Education Secretary. Senators Richard Blumenthal and Chris Murphy introduced Cardona, and here's a little bit about his testimony. And it would be my greatest privilege, if confirmed, to forge opportunity out of this crisis. If I am fortunate enough to be confirmed, I will work tirelessly to make sure our education system is a door to opportunity, a great equalizer for every student. Cardona also says he would work to reopen schools safely. He is expected to face tough questions from lawmakers wondering how he would lead the nation's schools through the pandemic. All right, this afternoon we could see some lingering flurries, maybe an isolated snow shower. Those can't be ruled out. Otherwise, we'll be mostly cloudy with, again, some intervals of sunshine. Uh, the area of low pressure that brought us all the clouds and these snow showers, especially earlier this morning, clears out of the state tonight, and that will pave the way for a much brighter Thursday across Connecticut. Uh, temperatures tomorrow will push the mid and upper 30, so a little bit milder than today, but the breeze remains. While tomorrow will be dry, we've got rain with perhaps some snow mixing in with that rain as we close out the week on Friday after the morning commute. Then for the upcoming weekend, dry on Saturday. And a big update, the once potential coastal storm still looks to develop, but now appears to stay well offshore Sunday into Sunday night, regardless of what plays out. And things could still change. Still looking for highs next week to only top out in the 20s Monday and Tuesday.